Hello boys and girls and Stingray parents. Today we are going to look at the greatest common factor. Since we have factoring out of the way, or at least we, we have a good handle on it, today we're going to look at a very practical application. Um, we're going to, to compare the factors of two different numbers and find the greatest common factor between the two. Now we can also do this with more than two numbers, but right now we're just going to focus on comparing two numbers at a time and finding their greatest common factor. We'll be using factor trees and also the Venn diagram as instruments or tools to help assist us. So let's pay attention as we do a couple sample problems together. Let's go. Here we go, boys and girls. Let's try to take a look at the greatest common factor, also known as the GCF. Now, greatest common factor, what does that mean? First of all, we need two different numbers. Then we need to find the prime factorization of each number. Prime factorization is you just factor each number out into all of its primes. Then you take a look at these prime factors and you find the greatest common factor or the largest factor that both of these numbers share. For example, let's find the greatest common factor of 30 and 75. We want to see what the largest factor that both 30 and 75 share. Let's begin by taking 30 and we're going to use a factor tree to write out the prime factorization. I know that 30 is 1 times 30. I'm not even going to start there. I also know that 30 is an even number, therefore it's divisible by 2, so it's 2 times 15. Um, I know that 15, 2 is a prime, 15 is not, so I can then take 15, and it's going to be 3 times 5. Now here I have 2 times 3 times 5. Those are all prime numbers. 2 times 3 times 5 is the prime factorization of 30. <clears throat> Let's take a look at 75. 75, well, I know that 3 goes into 75. If you're familiar with, if you think along the terms of money, I know that there's 3 quarters, or 3 times 25 is 75. And when I take a look at 5, I also know that that's a, that's a perfect square. Or in other words, 5 times 5 is 25. And there we have it. I have 3, 5, and 5. They're all primes. So the prime factorization of 75 is 3 times 5 times 5. Now when I look at these numbers, what's the greatest common factor? Well, I have a 3 and a 5 here, and I have a 3 and a 5 here. So I would have to say that, and what you might want to do too is line them up like this. Um, I'm going to move, I can put 75 under here like this. So this would be 30 is equal to this, and 75 is equal to this. And look at here, I've got 3 is one common factor, and so is 5. Okay, and this isn't just 3 and 5, this is 3 times 5, and this is 3 times 5. So my greatest common factor, or G, C, F, would be 3 times 5, which is equal to 15. Because 2 times 15 will give me 30, and 5 times 15 will give me 75. Okay, 15 is the greatest common factor. Now some people like to use a Venn diagram also to represent this. This is just another, another tool for organizing all of this. Okay, we still need the prime factorization of both of these. Let me scooch this down here. I think we can probably slide it over like that. That'll be best. Let me get rid of that. Okay. And what we're going to do is, let's say, we're going to represent 75 will be green, 30 will be red. Okay, we're going to have a red circle for 30, and a green circle for 75. And see, we know the Venn diagram, these are factors, um, all the factors of 75 will go inside the green circle, all the factors inside 
the 30 circle are the factors of 30. And where the two overlap, those are factors that are shared. So I know that 75 is 5 times 5 times 3. And I know that 30 is 2 times 3 times 5, okay? 5 times 5 is 25 times 3 is 75, okay? Those factors represent 75. And when we multiply them all together, we get 75. We just did that. And all these factors, 2 times 3 times 5, which are inside the red, they're the factors of 30. And we know that 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 times 5 is 30. But what do they share in common? 3 times 5, which is 15. So whether you use the Venn diagram or not, um, you're going to have to find the prime factorization of the two numbers that you're comparing. And, and, you, and when you're looking for the greatest common factor, sometimes you might have three or four numbers, um, especially when we get into some of our word problems. But what you need to do is you need to first find the, either way, you need to find the prime factorization of each number, and that's when you list all the prime factors um, to get the product of your number. And then you look for common factors, and you take those common factors, and you, you identify them somehow. And then when you multiply the factors together, that will give you the greatest common factor, or the greatest factor that both numbers share. Okay.